Hi everybody, this is Method Kaiji Day and do another Square Quest video. This is requested by the King Call Godzilla 2001 or goes Godzilla 100. I don't know what he's called right now. And uh, he requested me top five saddest scenes or moments from Godzilla films. All of them. All 30 of them or all 29 of them. Not counting the Zilla movie. Whatever. Okay, so let's get into this list. So number five is female Muto's eggs destroyed or killed, whatever. Uh, why is this number five? Well, because I did feel pretty bad for those Muto eggs. But why sell on the list? Because I did have a tiny bit of emotional value, a tiny bit, barely anything. And that means basically I didn't even cry at all. I just felt pretty bad for the Muto eggs. And also for the female Mito, she felt pretty bad, and then she got pretty pissed off at Aaron Taylor Johnson, and then the female Mito tried to kill Aaron Taylor Johnson, but Godzilla just literally beat her up. So, pretty sad for the female Mito as well as for the eggs. That's number five. Number four is Godzilla 1954's death. Very climactic scene. Did have emotional value. Now I do not remember if I cried. I don't think so. But that's because I was a little more older when I saw that movie, which I was around six or seven, probably even like five, maybe. I think it was like, I think I was about to be six, maybe. That's when I saw this film. So I didn't really cry. But it's really climactic. Uh, Sarah Sal suicide himself for the rest of humanity. Just overall seeing Godzilla die and like Godzilla turning into skeletons, it's really incredibly sad. And why sell on the list? Well, because there's more that are more sadder in my opinion. So that's number four. Number three is Godzilla Jr.'s death. Yeah, it's kind of weird how I added Godzilla Jr.'s death over Godzilla 1954's death. Why? Well, because it's Godzilla's son. It's basically the prince of the monsters, even though Gomorrah's the prince of the monsters, but whatever but it's the son of Godzilla he was innocent he was just trying to get to his dad slash mother and then all of a sudden destroyer just came all of a sudden shot his beam and then destroyer like literally grabbed Junior threw him in this building or yeah threw him in this building and then just shot his beam and then he's dead and then just very slowly he closes his eyes with that sad music now, right there, I think I cried in that scene, actually, when I first saw it, which I don't know how old I was. But in that scene specifically, I did indeed cry in that scene. Yeah, I was very, very sad. And then, you know, Burning Godzilla was really, really sad as well. And that's what made it even more sadder. So that's number three. Number two is Godzilla 1984 falling into Volcano. Um, Still to this day, or... I think I saw the movie like probably early 2013, and I did cry at that scene. You know, I didn't. I wasn't like a uh, baby crying, just tears. But it is really sad just hearing Godzilla crying. I guess you can say for his help. It's really really sad. And then the human characters notice that they made a ginormous mistake. It wasn't. Godzilla's fault why he was ravaging the city. It was humanity's fault why he was ravaging the city. And just, yeah, just ravaging the city. So it was really, really sad. And then just overall seeing Godzilla falling into the pit of lava is really, really sad. So that's number two. And number one is kind of obvious. And that is Burning Godzilla's death. Still to this day. Or I haven't really seen the movie for quite a while, like two years or something. But I'm guessing if I still see it, I'll probably be crying at that scene too. Because this, unlike Godzilla 1954, is actually in color. And it's with sad music. And just humanity cannot do anything about it. They just watch him. And then basically Godzilla melts. You see Godzilla literally melts. And then that's when like all his spirit, I guess. Or all the meltdown stuff or whatever. Like literally shoots out his neck and then he turns to a skeleton. It's really incredibly sad. But thankfully all that radiation went to Godzilla Jr. which resurrected him. Or some people say that Godzilla Jr. didn't die. I think Godzilla Jr. did die and he just got resurrected from 
all the radiation that Burning Godzilla gave Junior or whatever. But it's really sad. Godzilla, excuse me, Godzilla 1995's death is, of course, number one. So, um, tell me, guys, tell me, you guys, actually, I'm not even saying that correctly. Um, please tell me, comment below, what are your top five saddest moments or saddest scenes from any Godzilla film? Just Godzilla films, no other films, because if this was also included in any other films, then I'll have to say Mothra's death and rebirth of Mothra, the first one. That'll probably be number five or something. But, yes, it's just for Godzilla films. So that's basically all for this video. Subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mother Kaiju, signing out.